from Freescale IMX233. Uh, the kit actually has the touchscreen LCD, two UARTs, one Ethernet port, one JTAG port, SD card, and we have uh, the battery interface and few keys for navigational purpose. Our objective was to try and run Android on this platform. The good news is that we've been able to successfully run Android on this platform. Let me show you the whole Android booting in this platform. This is the reset switch. Let me just reboot the whole thing. And this is the on off switch. Takes a while for getting the initial screen of Android. Yeah. Uh, we chose Android 1.6 donut version and the Linux kernel is 2.6.28. We tweaked a lot of things in, in the kernel to be able to support Android uh, uh, interfaces to successfully run on this platform. When it boots, of course, there is no GSM interface, so we have this screen. Let me skip this. And also, this is there is no charger, there is no battery, so let me also skip this. Here is the Android home screen after boot up and we see all sorts of application icons for browsing for dialing for messaging let me show you the application screen here and uh, the interesting part is that we've been able to successfully run video on it and uh, here is the video portion and uh, we have 14 videos stored in SD card let me go into that and I can show here is the Hey Baby song. Let me go back. Yep, and let me go back to the home screen. And uh, we've been successfully make the Ethernet work and also make the 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 entire uh, platform, the LCD touchscreen, all these things work. And uh, we have few more things left to do, which we would be accomplishing in uh, in a week or two. And that's it. The Android porting on IMX233. Thanks a lot for listening. Bye-bye.